What is up guys, TechRex here. In this video I got a fully working 6S right here. Uh, it's looking pretty clean, looking pretty good. There's no dents, there's no scratches, there's no bends. It's a great device guys. And I want to do a little bit of a video. I want to see how well can the iPhone adapt to temperature shock or temperature change. So essentially guys in a nutshell I'm going to have boiling hot water right here liquid nitrogen in this container. I'm going to put the iPhone in liquid nitrogen for about 10 seconds. Not enough for it to fully break, but just enough for it to tweak around, you know, a little bit glitch, glitch around a little. Uh, take the phone, and then in case it does shut off, I'll put it back in the boiling hot water. And I'm going to be kind of playing that back and forth game to see at what stage does that iPhone fully malfunction. I want to test it to its full capabilities, guys. So, kind of a little different video. Let's go ahead and just do it, and I'll show you guys what's up. Okay guys, so hot water is boiling, there's the success, there's the liquid nitrogen, so let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to try and time this right. There goes the foam, one, two, three, four, I'm going to give it like seven seconds first. Okay, let's just see at this point, can the iPhone still work? It's, it was about five seconds, five to seven seconds. Wow, it's still working. It's very, very slow. You can see the lag. It's literally turned into like an iPhone 3GS, guys. This is how you turn your iPhone into a 3GS. This thing is icy cold. It's burning my hand. It's so cold. And it's still working. Wow. Guys, that is so crazy amazing. Let's see if you open the camera application. Everything is just so slow. Does the 3D touch still work? Yes. Google. That's crazy, guys. Phone is still working. In that case, I'm going to put it in there for a little bit even longer. So, And you can see the ice is st starting to build up. Just look at that angle, guys, and the phone. Crazy. Five, seven seconds in liquid nitrogen. Okay. Let's give it an another five seconds. And this stuff cools down, freezes things very quickly, guys. So I want to, I don't want to give it, look at this. At this point, it's frozen. The display is frozen. Whoa, whoa, check that out. What is happening right there? Oh no, no, okay, okay, so it's turned off. Let's go ahead and drop it in the boiling hot water, just for a little bit, and let's see if it can turn back on. This is gonna be interesting. So, just keep it in there for very, very little, because this thing is extremely hot. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, iPhone isn't waterproof yet. Well, it kinda is, to be honest. It's, it's slightly water resistant, Apple just, doesn't want to tell you that. So, very interesting. It's like a little bit of a mixture. There's cold parts, and then there's hot parts of the phone. Wow. So let's go ahead and try and see if we can... Yeah, it's still very hot right now. So it turned from cold to hot. Look at that! That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay, let's see what happens at this point. This is awesome. This is awesome. I love seeing this. This means that Apple iPhones aren't as bad. Okay. Wow. Phone is working absolutely perfectly fine, guys. Battery was not frozen. So, let's do it again. <laughs> this is why we do this, guys. We got to test the full limits. So, let's keep waiting. Let's give it a little bit longer, like a solid 10 seconds. This might definitely kill it, but let's wait, let's wait. Okay, let's take it out. It's been a while. Okay, does it work? It's frozen again. <laughs> I can't even press the home button. Whoa, whoa, the lag is real. Check this out, guys. Can the camera sun? Oh, yes still working this thing is so cold wow look at that ice buildup guys this is ridiculous wow let's put it back in again because it's still fully working it's amazing 
Yes. Now I'm gonna try and wait. I wanna think if I wanna wait until it fully shuts off at this point, then drop it in the boiling hot water, see if it can wake up. But I feel like that's gonna fully break at that point. So that is another good five seconds. Let's see what happens. Woo! Yeah, that thing shut off. Oh, something popped there. There's a little charge sign. Whoa, that's crazy. Hard to see, but I just saw it. Guys, I've probably placed this 6S in liquid nitrogen and then the boiling water maybe five, six times now. And the phone keeps turning back on and back into its original condition where everything is fully working. The camera is a little bit wet from the inside, but other than that, this thing is like new. So we got to put it in there again, but we have to leave it in there. And I, I got to stop trying to get it out as quick as possible. I just got to let it soak in there for as long as possible and just let it enjoy. Let it enjoy the cold. So we got to give it a, a good maybe 30, maybe even a minute. But I feel like a minute will certainly kill this device. Let's just take a look. And there you go. That's the first time the phone turned off inside of the liquid nitrogen, so I definitely want to get it out. And again, I cannot press anything. It's definitely coldest as a, uh, the coldest it's ever been. So it's cracking. We got to just drop it in here. And let's see what happens as I take it back out now. Wow. Okay. And power button and home button. It's extremely hot. Ow, ow. It's telling me to charge the phone. Again, the phone is at about 60%. So it tells me to charge the phone, then it boots back up. Guys, this is so crazy. I don't know how many more times I could keep trying this. This phone does not want to die. It's just telling me I'm going to keep working. Um, some parts of the phone are crazy hot while other parts are cold. It's crazy. Just the feel of this phone. And look at this. Turns back on without issue. Back in the liquid nitrogen, bro. This time, if it dims out, I'm going to wait like a solid 20, another 20, 30 seconds. Like I, because I, I'm having the impression it's just going to keep doing the same thing. So I'm going to leave it in there. And just leave it in there and leave it in there. So I know a lot of you guys might think, just take it out. It's going to break. It's going to break. But nope, not getting it out yet. Let's wait. Let's just wait 10 more seconds. Okay, definitely enough now. Yeah, the glass is cracking. Guys, if the glass is cracking, there is no way this phone can still work. And before I do anything, I got to just drop it straight into the liquid nitrogen because I know I'm not going to be able to turn it on right away and usually it warms up quick let's flip it over and oh this thing is hot can't turn it on pressing both buttons again telling me to charge but will it boot up this time that's insane I heard the glass cracking like internals were getting messed up for sure. And it still boots up. And it still boots up. Guys, this is crazy. If this is still working, I don't know what to believe. Yes, it's still working. This thing is going to be in here for about five minutes. All right, guys, after about 10 or so times, phone is finally not working. So I'm just going to put it in there again some boiling hot water and with one hand Whoa. Whoa. there it is check this out guys this is amazing And I think that shall suffice, guys. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you, as always, 
stay tuned for more videos and uh, stuff this in there. Peace out.